YouTube welcome back to the homestead and today we are going to be doing a astronomy video actually reviewing a small beginner's telescope called the fun scope by Orion I've been in astronomy now for nearly 50 years and I've owned several telescopes and in recent times I had to downsize into the something that was easier to take in and out of the house because of my age and disability and so I decided to go to this particular telescope and I'm very glad I did I'm very happy with it it does everything that I enjoy doing as an amateur astronomer my primary interest is in what is called planetary astronomy which means I'm observing the planet the moons and other things that are inside our solar system with this telescope you can easily see the rings of Saturn the moons of Jupiter, uh, the cloud bands of Jupiter, the cloud bands of Saturn, uh, the polar ice caps of Mars, and of course you can literally climb into the craters on the moon with it. You can even see some deep sky objects that are brighter such as some clusters as well as uh, Orion Nebula is quite visible through this. The telescope itself is ten and a half inches it is of a design called a reflecting telescope there are two types of telescopes basically there's a reflecting and a refractor uh, the refracting telescope are the ones that you are actually looking all the way through from the back to the front reflecting telescopes uses mirrors in order to do its viewing and magnification this has two mirrors in it and the primary mirror which is back here and is 76 millimeters in diameter and then there's a smaller secondary mirror up here that you're actually focusing on because the view is coming in through the front of the telescope onto the mirror and then viewed through the eyepiece up here through the secondary mirror it comes with a red dot viewfinder that helps you locate objects in the sky it comes with two eyepieces a 20 millimeter and a 10 millimeter the 20 millimeter will give you 15 magnification and the other one the 10 millimeter will give you 30 times magnification and you can buy any number of lenses for these telescopes as long as they are one and a quarter inch diameter lenses and you can go all the way up to a 40 millimeter and I've seen everything down to a six millimeter but you need to stay in what is called the focal range of the telescope this particular one has a claim has the lowest magnif useful magnification of 11 power and the highest of 152 and it's probably less than that they kind of like a little bit like your, when you buy a new car and they put the sticker on there saying miles per gallon yeah, they kind of do that with the telescopes too. All companies do that, not just Orion. But this is an excellent telescope. It comes on an alt azimuth mount, which rotates left to right, up, down. This is a tabletop model, has rubber feet. Uh, if you don't want to use it on a tabletop, it does have a socket here to put it on a tripod. It does the adjustment. For viewing it's done up here rack and pinion adjustment and it does come with a cap to keep the dust out of the telescope as well as a cap to keep dust out of the telescope through where your lens would be I do not store lenses on the telescope just for their own safety but what we'll do now is I'll take the camera off the tripod and give you a little bit closer look at the Orion Fun Scope. Okay, to start off with, it does come with a little manual here that's very descriptive. Also, Orion put out a little short video on how to put this together as it comes out of the box. It's no big effort to do so, it's very easy. And we'll take a closer look at it. Here's the finder scope, and on it, this is your on and off button, and it adjusts 
the brightness of your red dot, and I'll show you the red dot in a minute. This is, whoops. This adjusts it left to right. This adjustment's for up and down. Here is your rack and pinion focuser. And like I said, it comes with two eyepieces. You merely take your eyepiece, put it in, you tighten down your, your holding screws and you're ready to observe. Now, as I said, if you look in there, you can see at the bottom is that primary mirror and here's the secondary mirror. And this little thing that's holding the secondary mirror in place is called the spider. Occasionally, these things loosen up and you have to readjust them. It's called collimating, but that's not a difficult thing to do. But we'll turn this around, turn it down, and we're going to turn on the viewfinder, turn it all the way up. Let's see if we can't get a look here for you. See if it'll, maybe if I had a darker color wall, we could see. Trying to, oh, caught it for a second there. You can see there's a red dot in there. And that red dot is what you would put on a deep sky object that you're trying to find because it can be very hard to locate something through an eyepiece. So, there it is, the Orion Fun Scope. It's a great telescope for beginners, or in my case, it's a great telescope for someone that just cannot lug around a 200, 300 pound telescope anymore. So I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll give you a look at it, how it's stored. It shows you it's real easy to transport and it's real easy to store. So let's take a look at that. And here we have it stored at the house. And as you can see, it's right next to my back door. And I always keep it on my dry sink. I store it turned upside down and locked into place. This is also a very convenient way to carry it in your car. Actually, the whole unit only weighs four pounds. And what looks like a picnic basket here is actually all my accessories. In this, I carry my eyepieces, my filters, both for the telescope and for my astronomical binoculars, which I store up there on top of the dry shelf or the dry sink. And those are Celestrons, but that'll be another video for another day. And before anybody asks a question, my wife's a bassoonist and she makes her own reeds and she just happens to put it there to let it dry out overnight. So this has been the Orion Fun Scope, and it is a lot of fun to use, and it's simple, and it's easy, and it's a great way to get started into astronomy. Thank you for coming by the homestead today. Thank you very much for visiting. Please subscribe, and God bless.